Have you ever thought about creating your own ebook, but it always felt too complicated, too time consuming, or like you need to be a professional designer in order to make it look good? Well, the truth is, it's now even easier to design, publish, and even profit from your own ebook with Canva, even if you've never done anything like this before. But here's the catch. If you just jump straight into Canva, you'll probably end up with something that looks nice, but just doesn't deliver results. So in this video, I'm going to show you the exact steps to go from a blank page to a polished professional ebook that people actually want. Sounds good. Mm. And along the way, you'll see exactly why you want to use not one, but two different AI tools, plus your own expertise to make your ebook flow naturally and stand out from the crowd. Now, before we even touch Canva, we need to do one thing that will completely change the way your ebook turns out. And I'll show you exactly how over the next few steps. So first of all, you've got to get clear on what your ebook is actually for. Are you selling it? Are you using it as a lead magnet to grow your email list? Or maybe it's a free bonus to boost the sales of another product or even an affiliate offer. So here's a golden rule. Keep it focused. The best ebooks solve one clear problem and give people a quick win. Now, I like to use ChatGPT for this stage because it's brilliant at idea generation and structuring content. So let me show you a few killer prompts you can use. By the way, I've left a link in the description below this video where you can access these exact prompts that I'm going to show you in this video. Awesome. Now let's just say for this example, I'm a health coach and I want ChatGPT to help me come up with ideas for my ebook. So here we are in ChatGPT and we give Chat our first prompt, which reads, you are an expert digital product strategist. I help. And this is where you put information about your target customer avatar. So in this case, I've put busy professionals who want to lose weight, suggest 10 potential ebook concepts for each concept, provide a clear one sentence description of the problem it solves, a catchy marketable title suggestion, and a short subtitle suggestion that highlights the benefit. Submit this to ChatGPT and let's see what Chat comes up with for us. So chat's acknowledging our prompt and now chat is starting to list out 10 different ebook ideas that match our target audience. So let's have a closer look now at a few of these and see what chat's come up with for us. So the first one, the problem is busy professionals don't have time for long workouts. So the title of the ebook is the 15 minute fat burn, quick no equipment workouts for professionals who want real results without hours in the gym. Number two, lack of time leads to reliance, takeaways and unhealthy snacks. For number three, we have long work days create energy crashes and sugar cravings. And of course we asked for 10, so chat's given us 10 different options right here. Actually, here's one I like. Number eight, the problem is many professionals lack willpower after long days and slip into unhealthy habits. And the title is automatic health habits, how to create effortless routines that make weight loss happen on autopilot. So let's go with that one for this video. So from here, we now need to give chat our second prompt, which reads, thanks, I like number eight. This is of course where you put the number you like in and then we give chat a new role. So now you're a professional book editor, create a detailed outline for number eight. The requirements includes six to eight chapters. Each chapter should have a compelling benefit driven title. For each chapter, list three to five key teaching points. End with a strong conclusion and next step section. Suggest one to two optional bonus resources, e.g. checklists, worksheet, etc. that could add extra value. Now this is just an added extra. For example, if you want to sell this ebook on your website and you wanted a few bonuses to also offer alongside this ebook, then this extra prompt just gets ChatGPT to give you a few ideas around that. Of course, that's not actually necessary in order to create our ebook, but I'm going to leave it in there nonetheless. Submit our prompt and let's see what chat comes up with for us. So now chat is starting to write the outline of our ebook and this is awesome. So chat's not actually writing the whole ebook for us right now. This is not what we want. This to start with is our outline. So here ChatGPT is outlining all our chapters and telling us what should be in each chapter. So this is a great starting point. If there's anything you don't like, you can just ask ChatGPT to edit it, give you a new outline and remove anything that you don't want to be in here or even include new talking points if there's anything specifically you want to add in. And for the optional bonus resources, chat suggests an automatic health habit habits tracker worksheet and a quick start guide 10 two minute habits for busy professionals so now we've got a strong outline but how do we turn that outline into chapters without spending weeks writing the whole content yourself good question good question well this is where most people get it wrong because they stick with chat gpt for everything and the writing ends up often being flat repetitive and forgettable but there is a better way and it's all about using the right ai tool for the right job so with that in mind claude ai is much better for writing so my approach is i use chat gpt for brainstorming and structure but when it comes to writing i switch to claude and that's because claude has a much larger context window than chat gpt which basically means it can handle more text at once and keep the flow much more natural over long form content nerd alert so ChatGPT is great for ideas, but Claude is much better for writing sections that feel like a proper book. Now, here's the crucial bit. You don't just want to say to Claude, write me a 20 page ebook. That's how you get bland surface level content. So instead, you want to feed it sections of your outline one section at a time. So that's how you're going to get depth and detail in your writing. Now, before we move on, I'm not advocating we use AI completely to write 100% of the content. The way I suggest you use it is you use Claude now to write your first draft of your ebook, and then you go through and you heavily edit it. You put in your own knowledge, your own expertise, your own anecdotes. So the content then becomes essentially your own, but you've used AI as an assistance rather than 100% 
content creation. That way you and your brand and your business stay authentic and your audience get something really unique from you based on your own knowledge and experience. So with that said, here we are in Claude and the prompt we're gonna use is this one. So first, we're gonna assign a role to Claude. You're a professional ghostwriter. Expand this section of my ebook into a polished natural draft. Book title goes here, section title goes here. Tone is where we write our tone if you want it to be friendly, motivational, conversational or whatever. Length this section, for example, four to 500 words. Include a relatable story or analogy, which of course you'll replace later with your own. Three free practical takeaways. A short summary at the end that leads into the next chapter with an open loop to encourage the reader to keep reading. Avoid generic filler phrases. Write for beginners but without dumping things down. Make it clear, engaging and practical. Write at a seventh to eighth grade reading level for clarity and accessibility but maintain a professional and engaging tone. So we've added the relevant points for this section from our book from our chat GPT output. Let's submit this to Claude and see what we get. Now Claude will have a think about it and now we'll write out our first section of our ebook. Now I really like the way Claude writes. It really lays it out just like we want it in our book. So here's our content for this first section and down here Claude has written or given us an overview of exactly what it's done. So now to write the next section with Claude we need to take the same prompt and give that back to Claude again and go back to chat GPT and we take our next section for our next chapter, all the points that need to be in there, add that into our prompt and then get Claude to write the next section of our ebook. Keep repeating the process. Then once you're done, you can go up to the top right, click on copy, copy the whole content from Claude. And we go over to a Google Doc and paste it into a Google Doc. So now it's in Google Doc, you can edit it, add your own examples, your own expertise, stories and personal insights. So that's what's going to take it from being just another AI ebook to something that's actually yours and worth paying for. So now you've got your content ready, but how do we take this big pile of words and turn it into something that actually looks like a professional ebook? Now, this is where Canva comes in. Okay, quick pause here. If you're getting value from this video, please go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. On this channel, I share step-by-step -step guides on how to simplify a tech side of your business to help you be more productive, how to actually use AI and other smart tools the right way, and how to turn those tools into systems that can potentially bring in more revenue. So if that sounds good to you, then I'd love you to be a subscriber so you don't miss what comes next. Okay, now back to the video and here's where it gets exciting because we're now going to bring your ebook to life in Canva. And what's super cool about this is that Canva can make your ebook look like it was designed by a pro, even if you've never touched design software before. And wait till you see the features that I'm going to show you that can instantly make your ebook stand out from its competitors. Okay, so jumping into Canva, let's go to the search bar and type in ebooks. And now here Canva will show you a huge range of ebook templates you could choose to work with. Now, first of all, bear in mind, if you're on the free plan, you still get a pretty decent amount of templates to work with. But if you upgrade to Canva Pro, not only do you get considerably more templates, but you also get higher quality templates too, many of which have more internal pages to them as well. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a sec. So first of all, when we look at these templates, you'll see some of these templates have a little crown icon in the bottom right corner and others do not. So these ones that don't have a crown are available on the free plan. But if they have a crown on it, then you need to be on the pro plan in order to use them. So if we have a look at this template right here, this is just the front cover only and it's available on the free plan. This one right here is also on the free plan. This will be the front cover and it also has a few internal page layouts already designed for you to make the process easier. Now, don't overthink it. I recommend just choose a template that's already close to the idea you have in your mind, and that way you have much less customization to do and you'll produce your ebook much more quickly. Now, another awesome feature of Canva Pro it will considerably speed up your workflow as you create your ebook and helps keep everything uniform across pages, as well as helping your ebook and other projects stand out from your competitors, is using the brand kit. So, in the left sidebar here, we've got the brand kit where we can set up our own brand within your account. This way, you can upload assets like your logos and the images, set your brand colors and your brand fonts, as well as giving Canva Pro an insight into your brand voice and tone as well. So with your brand kit set up, you'll then no longer need to change your fonts and colors page by page when you're creating your ebook and it will considerably help speed up the creation process for you. So you set up your fonts and colors once in your brand kit and then by default Canva will use those for you in your design. But of course you can still change them manually in your design as you go if you want to. Now Canva's premium templates and the brand kit as well as other advanced AI tools and features inside of Canva are only available on Canva Pro. So if you want to give that a go, then you can get a 30 day free trial of Canva Pro via the link in the description below this video. Now, once you've chosen your Canva template, I'm going to go with this one, click on the customize template button. And this will bring our template into the Canva editor where we can start working on our ebook design. So when it comes to designing the front cover, we can easily edit any of the text and change this out for our own. Maybe we want to drop in our subtitle as well, our subheading. It's going to switch this to not all upper caps and stretch that out a bit to make it a bit more visible. I think I prefer that in italics, that looks nicer. If you want, you can even change the background image as well. You just come over to the sidebar, find photos, search for design that you might like to use. Now, because a lot of these images are in landscape mode, our ebook here is in portrait mode. So there's not that many with this kind of style showing up right here. So I can come to the filter at the top and select the vertical option. And now I get lots of images that are in a vertical format, but also known as a portrait format. They're much easier to use as an ebook cover. For example, if I like this one here, I can just click and 
and drag it into my ebook cover and then right click on the image and replace background. And there we go. I actually prefer the previous one. So I'm just going to click the back button right here to undo changes. I'm going to stick with what I've got. Now when it comes to adding your text here on the table of contents, you come back and do this at the end. Once you know which chapters are on which pages, if there's any pages you don't want in here, you click the trash icon to delete that. And now here's our first page layout. So what we need to do then is come to our document in Google Docs. And it's just a matter of copy pasting all of your content over and pasting it into your Canva template, and adjusting it as you go. So, so I'll bring my first paragraph in, copy, come back here. I'm going to delete that, don't need that and paste my text in and delete and reposition how I want it. Now, bearing in mind, copying and pasting paragraph by paragraph into Canva template will take a while. Not really a problem if your ebook's only three or four pages, but if you need to create an ebook that's like 10, 20, 50, 100 pages, this is going to take you a long, long time. It's a lot of work. Now, I personally love Canva. I use it pretty much every day in my business. And I do personally use Canva Pro too. When it comes to creating ebooks, in my opinion, this is where Canva does fall down a little bit. After all, Canva is primarily a design tool and it will make absolutely stunning looking ebooks. But the creation process for an ebook longer than four pages is going to be pretty time consuming. But don't worry if you are creating a longer ebook, I have a workaround that's super fast and creates professional ebooks. I'll show it to you at the end of this video, so make sure you stick around for that. But before we get to that, let's just say for this example right here, we're creating a short ebook. So we're going to create it in Canva. And once your ebook is finished and you're happy with it, we need to then download it as a PDF. So in order to do that, we come up to the top right to click on share, then click on the download button and the file type. We need to change it to either PDF standard. If you plan to sell this online, for example, from your own website or give it away as a free lead magnet, or if you want this PDF ebook to also be turned into a hard copy book as well, then instead you'd need to select PDF print. So I'm just going to select PDF standard and I'm going to click on the download button and that's going to now download download this ebook to my computer. So as I said, Canva's great, but if your ebook is long, then copy pasting into Canva will drive you insane. So luckily I've got a shortcut tool that makes it ridiculously easy to import your entire content into an ebook creator and create a professional ebook. So wait till you see this. Now this tool is called Designer and you can easily import your entire content into Designer with a couple of clicks from a Word doc or a Google doc, or even from a PDF. You can then edit and format your entire content inside of Designer. Then select one of Designer's professional uncovers and internal layouts. And then within your ebook, you can even add images, videos, audio files, QR codes, call to actions, and so on. Then once you're ready to publish your ebook, you can download it as a PDF, publish it as an EPUB, or even publish it direct to Amazon Kindle. Now, depending on what plan you're on with Designer, you can then also turn your ebook into an audiobook too. And besides that, Designer also has its own built-in AI writing tool. So you can even use Designer to write your draft of your ebook. Now, Designer offers monthly pricing plans starting at $29 per month. However, I have a unique link that will get you lifetime access to this standard plan for a one-time payment of $27. And that link is in the description box below this video. So when you click that link, it will take you to this page where you can get access to this lifetime deal. And if you scroll down the page, you'll see the special offer right here where you can get lifetime access to standard plan for a one-time payment of $27. This plan will enable you to create an unlimited amount of ebooks with Designer if you're creating your content outside of Designer and then importing it via Word doc or Google doc. Or if you're turning blog posts into ebooks, you can create an unlimited amount of those. But if you want to use Designer's AI writing tool, which is Word Genie, then with this $27 one-time payment, you'll get enough Word Genie credits to create about four to five ebooks using Designer's AI writing tool. But after that, if you want to continue to use Word Genie, then you can buy more Word Genie credits for $17 for 100,000 credits, which will be enough for another four to five ebooks. Either way, this is an absolute no-brainer deal if you're looking to create professional ebooks and you don't want to spend a lifetime doing it. So if you want to access this deal, then the link is in the description box below this video. So your ebook looks amazing, but before you can give it away or sell it, you need to make sure that people can actually access it the second they sign up or buy. And there's a simple trick to set it up properly. Remember earlier when we downloaded our ebook as a PDF from Canva, all we need to do is drag and drop it into either Google Drive or Dropbox. I'm going to use Google Drive for this example. So now here is our ebook in Google Drive. So I can host it in Google Drive. It comes to the dots menu in the top right corner and then select share. But before I copy the link, I need to click this share button right here. And now here, by default, the general access will be restricted. So we need to select from the drop down anyone with the link and now when we copy this link we can share it with anyone who buys our ebook or if this ebook is going to be a free lead magnet and we just give our new subscribers this link and then they can access our ebook now if you'll know exactly how to create an ebook funnel to sell your ebook online or to give it away as a free lead magnet then watch this video right here